In this problem, we have a reservoir that is attached to a pump. We will be referring to the top of the water line of the reservoir as point 1. At this point, we have atmospheric pressure acting on it, and we will be setting the height at 0, and the velocity is 0 being that it is a very large reservoir. This pump is pumping water to a height that is 3 meters higher than the water line on the reservoir. We will be referring to this point as point 2, which is inside of a pipe. The pressure at point 2 is 310 kilopascals and has a velocity of 5 meters per second. We will be dealing with absolute pressure, meaning that atmospheric pressure is already added to it in this problem. We will be throwing a value that is made up for friction of 180 kilopascals, a flow rate of 0.04 meters cubed per second, and a pump efficiency of 0.7. We will be assuming the density of water is 997 kilograms per meter cubed. We want to find the pump pressure needed and the pump power in watts both with perfect efficiency and a 0.7 efficiency. To solve this problem, we'll be using a variant of the Bernoulli equation that takes into account if there is a pump, a turbine, and friction in the problem. Recall that the Bernoulli equation only works for an ideal fluid. The Bernoulli equation is simply adding up the pressure energy plus the potential energy plus the kinetic energy to get the total energy in the fluid at a given point. In the new version of this equation, the pump and energy is added to the first side of the equation, being that the pump is adding the energy to the fluid before it reaches point 2. The friction energy and the turbine energy, which won't be included in this problem but is worth mentioning, is added to point 2 because it is taking away from the total energy at point 1 before it is reaching point 2. Just like previous problems, we assume that the energy is conserved or does not disappear, so the energy on the first side of the equation equals the energy on the second side of the equation. So there is no potential energy at point 1, being that the height is 0, relatively speaking, and there is no kinetic energy at point 1, being that it is a large reservoir and there is virtually no movement at the surface. Also, there is no turbine in this problem, so all of these values can be removed. So now we want to get pump pressure to one side, so we can subtract P1, which is the atmospheric pressure, from both sides of the equation. Now we can plug in all of our values into this equation to get the pump pressure. Pressing the energy on our calculator, we get a pump pressure of 430,449 newtons per meter squared, or pascals. Next, to get the pump power, we can multiply this value times the flow rate of 0.04 meters cubed per second, and we get 17,218 watts for the pumping power, giving 100% efficiency. We unfortunately don't live in a perfect world, so some energy is lost, so we must divide by the efficiency of the pump to get 24,597 watts of power needed to run this pump. Poll update. That concludes this video. Hopefully it's earned a like, share, or subscription. It really helps out the channel if you do. If you like this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.